Welcome back folks to the VIA pinstriping page. Please consider subscribing. So just wanted to talk a little bit on my experience at the Butler Institute for American Art um, about the American Stripes exhibition, which was last weekend and I had a chance to go up there uh, for a few days and experience everything that uh, there was to offer with that once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, it was the very first time pinstriping has ever been shown uh, in a fine art museum as a collection of various artists together uh, which it ended up being around 30 different artists I believe and uh, <clears throat> it is going to be extended to July 18th I believe also and I recall them saying that it was going to be extended three weeks so I'm, I'm thinking I heard July 18th so if you have not had a chance to go up there you still have time it is in Youngstown, Ohio at the Butler Institute for American Art or of American Art, the Butler. I, I don't know. <laughs> but um, anyways, so made our way up there. Um, show up on Friday. Before you know it, I'm surrounded by Paul Quinn. I'm surrounded by Dwayne Cannett, uh, Jack Lemming, Hot Rod Jen, and Jim Hetzler. Just chilling out at the bar and... I had a few drinks with them and the vibes were immediately high super cool people just cracking jokes you know talking smack busting my balls about having a YouTube channel which is fine <laughs> I'm used to it I work in a warehouse so I'm I'm happier when people are busting my balls so uh, it was it was Amazing. The, the the people that I met were absolutely amazing. Humble, funny, just more that I could ask for. And um, this was, you know, the introduction before I even got a chance to go into the butler. So it was like, uh, it was just nice to be able to, you know, meet these folks that I've been watching uh, and admiring for, for years now. Um, and the next day we had some breakfast. I got a chance to meet Steve Chiseka, a few more other artists, uh, Ray Dre, I believe was, was there. And, uh, made our way to the Butler, walked around a little bit, saw some incredible, uh, artwork, some incredible landscape and portrait art, uh, some different things. And finally made my way inside of the uh, to the exhibition American Stripes, and it was an explosion of color. Uh, it was unlike any other room in there; just beautiful. The moment you walk in, it's just so colorful, and panels of different sizes, artwork of different sizes, and each one had a life of its own. Um, you could see, you could see the lifetime of skill in some of these, and the intricacy and the thought process of basically you were looking at people's personalities on these walls and it was just incredible um and uh, you could sit I, I, we were there for hours just taking it in and i got a chance to meet everybody everybody was super humble uh i met folks again um let's see if i can name them off uh so uh Hot Rod Jen, uh, Jack Fleming, um, Jim Hetzler, Paul Quinn, Dwayne Cannett. Uh, I met Artie. Um, I can't think of his last name, but he, from Artie's party. Uh, um, let's see. I got a chance to meet Howie. Uh, Paul Puza. I got a chance to meet Ted Turner. Um... Ooh, there were some other folks. Man, I, I, the names, the names, I'm so bad with names. But it was just incredible. Uh, Craig Judd, I believe. Craig Judd. Incredible artwork, incredible people. It was, uh, it was more than I could ask for. It was, it was like a, like I was in a damn dream state the whole time. And uh, we got a chance to have some dinner. Oh, Joe Vincent from House of Colors. Uh, I believe he's from House of Colors. But Joe Vincent. Um, House of Colors sponsored the dinner afterwards, and we all got a chance to go to Steve Chaseka's house 
and do some pinstriping there. I got a chance to use House of Colors paint for the first time, which did feel pretty nice. Um, I learned a little bit about the catalyst that you got to put in there. Uh, walking into Steve's shop was also like walking into another museum of a lifetime's worth of pinstriping and airbrushing. It was crazy. You walk in there, it's just crazy. Artwork absolutely everywhere. You know, just kind of laying, laying in the corner some of the best stuff you've ever seen, ever. Um, an amazing artist and a really humble, really cool guy. Uh, I got a chance to do a panel with him. Uh, just quick like as, you know, I nervously tried to knock out some scrolls and, and then he did some more stuff on top and then I went to the another color, which was, um, you know, I got a chance, this, uh, some of the folks were the original original pinheads which uh, they were the ones that started uh, doing the panel jams where uh, one person would do part of a design and the next person would do the other part of the design so uh, they explained to me some of that history I got a chance to to listen about uh, different techniques and I just you know I tried really hard to keep my mouth shut and listen you know and that, that was kind of the goal and Again, it was just amazing. Um, I took a lot of pictures. I took some video. You'll see uh, a little mix of, of both uh, within here. The very first thing that I saw when I walked up to the museum was a motorcycle that Steve Chaseka had, had airbrushed and pinstriped. So that's the very first thing you're going to see. Um, oh, I got a chance to meet Pooch. Um, shook his hands. Uh, um, Bob Bonek, I can't, I can't pronounce his last name, Bob, super nice guy, um, it was just, it was incredible, I, I, I can't say enough about it, um, I feel super humbled seeing all this stuff, and I couldn't believe that I was a part of it, you know, and they, you know, they kept reassuring me, yeah, you, you did good, you, you did good, but still, you can't believe you're a part of something like that. And uh, I still, I still can't believe it. They're gonna try to move the the exhibition to another museum. Hopefully, uh, I I can't I can't tell you exactly where because I don't recall. But the goal is for it, it to travel, hopefully uh, to another museum, and then hopefully to one after that, and people can experience it around the U.S. and possibly around the world. And. That's basically it. It was super fun. You know, I got a chance to, to hang out and we did some some shenanigans afterwards with Nubs. I got a chance to meet Nubs. Um, I believe there was an airbrush artist by the name of Steve Leahy. If I get your name wrong, brother, I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm, I'm horrible with names. You know, I was hanging out with some of the world's best and it was crazy. Like I had Chipotle with Hot Rod Jen just eating with hot rod jen like i've been looking up to her work and i respect her so much as an artist that it was just like oh yeah let's just have chipotle with hot rod jen <laughs> and uh i got a chance to uh really hang out with jack jack uh, didn't have a ride so it was awesome to really spend some time with him it was really cool to have somebody else like you know we were kind of a little bit the youngsters in in the crowd so it was really nice to have somebody else with the same sort of uh perspective i guess as me looking at these guys kind of like absorbing you know as kind of the the younger i not say younger but like the, sort of the next generation and uh it was it was a wild ride and i'm so happy that i was able to go and it was worth every penny that i spent on the rental car and hotel and all that i'd do it again in a heartbeat um so if you happen to see some pictures of some artists that uh, you see there, I try to get the, the nameplate, but it might not come out clear. If you're curious to know what artist you're seeing, just type in the, the time and uh, hit enter in the comments. Type in the time and I'll, I'll, I'll look at that timestamp and see if I can uh, pinpoint the artist. That way uh, they get credit for their art if, if, uh, if you see it. And maybe you could have them do some work for you. I don't know. Some of these folks are, are are out there still doing it. Some folks are retired. Some folks couldn't make it. And 
Um, it's still out there for another three weeks, so please get out there and see it. Um, I wanted to say hi to Joanna for coming out from, uh, from I don't know exactly if you're still staying in Orlando, but I met her in Orlando. She came all the way out there with her family, um, and it was awesome to see her, meet her family. I wanted to meet some more folks from YouTube land. Uh, I, I did speak to one dude on Facebook that said uh, he got up there, but I... I guess I was speaking to other folks, so he didn't get a chance to say hi, and I felt bad about that. Um, so if you were up there and I didn't get a chance to say hi to you or, or, or we missed each other, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was really ho hoping to meet some, some of the YouTube uh, uh, subscribers up there. And um, I did meet one, one young fella with the Createx shirt and hat. And I met, uh, met his family, and he was super cool. And... Um, you know, it was nice to, to speak to him and uh, explain a little bit of the, you know, how to turn the brush and such. And the, you know, questions, people have questions. So I try to answer the best I can. Like I said, I'm, I've only got six years into the craft, so I'm still a baby. And I hope to have another 45 years in me or something like that. So enjoy the pictures. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And sorry I was so long-winded. It was just an incredible, incredible event, incredible happening, and I wish I was still there. I miss everybody. It was so cool. All right, y'all. Have a good day, and make sure to like this video. Take care. Bye-bye. Steve did this for you? Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful, brother. Freddie. Ben Hoffman, good to meet you, Ben. Yeah, he does an excellent work. Wow. That's awesome you're able to come up here for this, too. Yeah, it was a couple hours away, but I'm coming. Oh, that's cool, man. Wow. I was thinking about coming yesterday, but it was supposed to rain out here. So. Yeah, today's way better, yeah. And today's the exhibition, the, the actual. From Florida. Yes, sir. We're out in Florida. Uh, Plant City near Tampa. Uh-huh. I was born in Eglin. Lakeland? Oh, Eglin. Eglin? Yeah, the Air Force Base. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's there's quite a there's quite a few uh, bases there in Florida. We got the... Well, my dad was in the Air Force 35 years. Oh, nice. Wow. Yeah, we, we got a hold of them and...
All right, folks, in YouTube land, this is Dwayne, the second most famous YouTube artist in the world. I'm not going to tell you who number one is, but he's pinstriping his car. Let's see if we can zoom in on this. But because the eye is more oval, there's not as much pressure to hold the uh, retina to the back of the eye. And what happened was my mind turned to liquid. The liquid got behind the retina and started pushing it up. So what uh, they did was they took all that vitreous fluid. And there you are. And they, Beautiful. They put a <laughs> Dwayne Kennett's. line Pooch.
insane. It's all hand painted, folks. all the way across. I'm videotaping everybody's striping. <laughs> Two tone. Are y'all carrying stuff in? Yeah. You need a hand? <laughs> sure, why not? I'm taking a little video of Jen. She said she wanted to be on video. What are you using a particular brush, particular paint? No, it's using House of Color for like the first. Yeah, I've know. I've never used it before, so that'll be my first right now too. I think the cleaning them. I mean, I can clap. Yeah, but I guess I remember. Well, hot hues, you can. No, I just heard a thing. Oh, I somebody was just talking about that. Yeah. About what? Well, well, nature we were sitting little bit. there last night. Alright, I'll come. Oh, yeah. like, hot I'm going to come back for the finishing strokes. 